happy face. On 2UE 954, Brian Bury. Remember two budgies down, one budgie out. Mozzarella cheese and an olive on the top. It makes a budgie budgie pizza. And nothing could be neater. Nothing could be sweeter than to have a budgie pizza and you. How naughty. Over 20 years ago, a fierce two-fisted female protagonist in an antique dress and bristling moustache, Auntie Jack, and a group of equally eccentric regular characters, including an old pal of ours, Rory O'Donoghue, leapt onto our television screens. Apart from the pilot episode, 13 others, and a genuinely funny album, Auntie Jack Sings Wollongong, the series didn't survive. I don't know why. However, it was enough to build a legend on, and 20 years down the track, shock records have resurrected. Well, I don't suppose resurrected's a word. Brought back that fabulous album. I'm pleased to say Auntie Jack, Graham Bond, Rory O'Donoghue are in the studio. Graham, good day. Good day. Rory, Fantastic. good to see Thank you. you. Good day, Brian. How are you, man? How are you going? I'm well. <laughs> <laughs> no. Did the Budgie, Budgie Pizza ever take on? Well, Budgie Pizza was part of a series we did called The Off Show. It was beyond, after Auntie Jack. It's on a second. That we've got a, a, a bonus CD on this uh, on this album set. And, did you uh, mean did it ever take on as a food? Like, like Pizza Hut ever really? <laughs> you, never, you just have the little Budgie with its face, two with its face down in the mozzarella cheese and the other one with its little claws up to put an olive in each claw. <laughs> Canary canopies. <laughs> we, we did, all, we'll probably have them phoning in. RSPCA. No, uh, that was in the off show, which was a, a, a series that we did where the first three episodes were banned. The first show was called The Completely Off Show. The second one was called Not As Off As Last Week But Almost. And the last one, and the third one was called The Absolutely Off Show. And the ABC banned the three of them. Banned the three of them. Which, so they really were off. They were never shown. They, they never, never shown. got on. Never, never, never got, got on. on. <laughs> At least Artie Jack got on. She did. Only 13 mm. episodes. That's all we ever made of Artie She Jack. was an amazing woman. But I think there were a number of people in Australia <laughs> identified with her and said, that is my auntie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Well, yeah, Artie yeah. Jack was... Uh, well, she was like my grandfather in a way. I suppose my grandfather was a boxer. Yeah. And she was like an uncle I had who was, um, um, well, he was like Auntie Jack. He spoke <laughs> a bit like that, you know. He was quite aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys have come armed, if yeah. I can use the word, with uh, <laughs> guitars. <laughs> Our arms are ripped off yet. Yeah. Well, what about Kev? Something of Kev. Oh, why Kev not? Kev Yeah, yeah. Butcher. The uh, Butchers. Is here's a one. Yeah, what about uh, See You Around Like a Kev Cabana. Yeah. <laughs> Went to a party, just the other night Dropped a chop, smoked a ham, met a chick who might Said I was a butcher, thought that I was in She really freaked me out when she said I'm a vegetarian You might think eating veggies is really cool and neat But honey, I can't think that's all cause this cat's into meat Here we go with a bit of a... Here we go We go around like a wristle, round like a wristle, go round we go around like a wristle, round like a wristle, go around. We have to do a fade here because we're unplugged. <laughs> we go around like a wristle, round. Not like, like a record, is it, man? <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Kev, yeah, Kev, Kev, Kev's lovely, isn't he? Kev was based yeah. on a, a real person. See, I used to be an architect, and uh, <laughs> my father had a friend who really hated me. He was, he was a butcher, and he used to say, uh, like, uh, you know, I could have been an architect. He said, no worries, I could have been an architect because, uh, like, I do a lot of really, really creative meat art, uh, like. Um, I've been to East Sydney Tech and I do uh, a lot of fernery displays and stuff like that. Like, uh, I've done uh, Painting My Own Santa Claus this year, he said, and, uh, and this year I'm going to do something really special, sculptural, really quite sculptural, and I'm going to have uh, Christ in the Manger and Tripes and Olives in the window of the shop. Oh, <laughs> he, was pretty, he really, he really existed. existed, yeah. And he's lovely the way. Rory, how yes. did you work with this band? With this man? Yeah, well, oh, we, this we, Auntie Jack. Well, we, it, we, it, was, you know, it was business. I, I just had to sort of shut myself off from Graham. And then we could... No, no, yeah. no, no. no we used to, you know, uh, do it. And we uh, just, Well, Roy had a lovely character to play. Thin Arthur was yeah. lovely. Thin yeah. Arthur, he was the romantic lead. Yes, he was. <laughs> but then, and then we played the characters on the park bench, the two little funny yes, little characters like on the park bench that used yeah. to sit on the yeah. bench and, and talk about all these strange things what like... What did they do? They used to do songs like this. Why don't we sing our last refrain? A simple song with a simple nature. Nature. But the words don't seem to rhyme. No, they're not meant to rhyme. Oh. So we'll sing it one more round again. <laughs> round again. 
Saw you standing on the doorstep Your I rhyme Doorstep <laughs> On your head you wore a doorstep <laughs> Saying mind if I sit down And it goes on I got it on. I got it, I got it. But the words don't seem to fit. No, they don't rhyme. Fit. No, it doesn't matter. It was very folk, wasn't it? Cause yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, no, they were, that was pathos. I mean, Auntie Jack had a oh. lot of levels. It had, you know, obviously Auntie Jack was pretty uh, raucous and brutal. I mean, Rory and I have been working together. I've worked it out 31 years. <laughs> he wasn't born at the time. <laughs> no, no, he was <laughs> still there. <laughs> now, I'll rip your bloody arms off. Where did that come from? It's got to be another one from his family, Rory, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, it came from uh, a little before the uh, for a radio show, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It was. A, we did a Auntie Jack as a radio show for Paddy Conroy. Do you know Paddy? Oh, Con- yes. Children's radio. Yeah. And uh, and at the end of the radio show, because of course you remember the Argonauts. Everyone yes. Remember. Yeah. Argonauts was terribly English, wasn't it? Oh, it was terribly, sort of, terribly. Sort of, oh, hello. This is Jason here, and we've got some jolly good people. With <laughs> Ephesus Four. Hello. <laughs> and Ephesus Four has got a lovely poem. It reminds me terribly much of uh, Wordsworth here. But anyway, and it was terribly, terribly that. Anyway, uh, poor Paddy wanted to change ABC Children's Radio, and he said. I want you to do something different. So Peter Weir and myself oh, wrote yeah, it. Yeah, Peter Weir, yeah. the filmmaker. Yeah. And we wrote this idea and Rory and I put some music together. And at the end of this episode, Auntie Jack said, and remember, you horrible old pigs, if you don't listen to this radio show, I'll jump through your speakers and rip your bloody arms off. <laughs> well, the head of the woman who was the head of ABC Children's Radio thought that the character was based on her. <laughs> And she, she said there was no way that was going to follow the Argonauts and replace. Uh-huh. So it took, how many, four years later was yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, we got onto television. So it wasn't instant success. I can Do you reckon, you. I sort of feel the time is ripe to bring Auntie Jack back again. I sort of think people want to really have a bit of fun and a bit of nonsense, don't you? Don't yeah, you we, could do, we could do it as a radio show. As long as yeah, we, we didn't have to put the costumes <laughs> back on. <laughs> well, you wouldn't fit oh, into thin nah, Arthur's outfit anymore. He's not fat, he's, he's just bigger. Well, he's well, a, so mm. thick he's Arthur. matured. He pumps iron. He does. He does. No, oh, I just yeah. do the ironing for me. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> go to gym. I, go I to do gym. all that. <laughs> I do. I do. I do. Tell me the people you worked with. I mean, there were lots of folks who who came through there with Family. you. Gary yes, McDonald, of course. Gary, Johnny 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 Durham was in the first. Johnny series. Durham, great, right. it nice was wonderful. Yeah. And, and on Ga- the album, of course. Sorry, Graham. Yeah. And on, on the album, of course, we've got lots of uh, uh, fabulous musicians who 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 played with us. The, the, the Jesus Christ Superstar Pete yeah. Orchestra, who went yeah. on to become John English's band, and we've got and Renee Gayer sings sang, sang on it a bit. Really? Yeah. Renee yes. walked in. She said, "Have you got a backing singer singing on this album?" And we said, "No." She said, "Well, I'm the best singer in town." She was seventy. So, well, yes, well, yeah, good on her totally because her on. she's yeah. still like that too. She's a fantastic yeah. singer. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so she's on it. And um, lot, lots of good people came through the Auntie Jack show. Um, or not through that, through Flash Nick. Flash Nick from Genevieve. Did, uh, we now we, we, can we have a drop of Flash Nick? Flash Nick from Genevieve. Yes. It's a very, very visual intro. Well, uh, it is a very visual intro. Eyebrows going up and down. Thank you. <laughs> looks and good. Okay, here we go. Ah, Nick. He sings You're on the like Mudgy that. Mail. Ride the lady, ride and ride. Make it on time. You've got to say your family name. Your family name, your pride is right on the line. And so, you've got to go. And stop the mail on time, or Riley's gonna die. So don't fail, or you'll be hanged and dead in jail. Yoo-hoo. I loved him. Flashnik from Jindavik. Keep running now, Flashnik. Carson is coming again. He's coming with his gunner men. We'll chase you to the end So long my bunny headed boy So long my bunny headed boy <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I thought for a moment we were going to finish together. I thought, yeah, no, <laughs> we, we were looking as it goes on and on. But we can't was, on. We sort of a lot of people we worked with there was a fantastic uh, cast in Flashnik from Genevieve. We had John Million, God rest his oh, soul. Oh, yes. Yeah. Johnny, yeah. Johnny Hewitt. Johnny yeah. Johnny. Yeah. John, yeah, God rest his soul. John, John Bluthall. Uh, Max Gillies. Uh, Max Gillies. Uh, yeah, it was terrific. We had so, amazing. It must have been Lex one. Maranos. Lex What's Mar- it like <laughs> <laughs> when you all get together with so much talent, so much creativity? Is it. 
I don't know, do you ever get a clash of all those sort of things or does it meld together beautifully? No, we didn't really. Fight. Rory was in, always in control of the music. I mean, you know, I might have written a few songs and, and written lyrics and stuff, but Rory, that was his business. Mm. Even though sometimes we had clashes with Morris Murphy who would say, you know that fourth note where it goes <laughs> dum dum boom dum boom 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 dum? Couldn't it go, go more sort of up and, oh. you know? And, um, Morris Murphy said that, did he? Oh, no, Morris is a good bloke. He was a good bloke. Well, oh, no, 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 bloke. No, great no, bloke. No, we like know, him. Well, I'm not going to sit here and fight with Morris. <laughs> we think you're wonderful, Morris. <laughs> An Irishman and he'll <laughs> fight with me. Oh, Donna Hughes and the and the Murphys. Murphys. Could you imagine that? And of course, my mother's a Doyle. So there <laughs> <a> Doyle. <laughs> <laughs> well, no wonder it had to be fun. Yeah, it had to yeah. be happy, didn't it? Yeah. Now, releasing this Auntie Jack from Wollongong, uh, Shock Records, which I think is amazing. Mm. Do you think, though, it will... They'll, I have a feeling there's going to be a new generation, another generation, who've said, hey, what were these characters up to? Well, it is. It's very much It's like a radio show. Rory and I designed it to be... Uh, so you didn't really need a television show to follow it. I mean, the, it, Auntie Jack on side one takes you through a, a trip, a royal tour of Wollongong with Kid Eager and Finn Arthur, and they go... <laughs> T- through the gong a go go, where the Farrelly brothers are in there singing. Ow. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. I've crossed the desert's fair, man. I've breathed the mountain air, man. I've travelled, I've had my share, man. I've been oh, everywhere. I've been all and gone, 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 all and gone,